much of it, in my opinion, or if I were a mathematician, I, I would see it as geometrical patterns, probably something visual, as uh, some sort of uh, fields or net that are bulging and, and deforming and, and whatever. I, I think uh, much of it, if I were a mathematician, would be, would be visual ge geometry. But is it an underlying principle, for example, in, in strange, uh, uh, in strange uh, things that are going, uh, that are going on in, in the world of, of the very, very tiny? I think it's one of the big divisions among mathematicians that some of them are visual, others are not visual at all, and there's a sort of in between. I'm, I'm very much on the visual side myself, so I certainly have to see things in that way. But I think I'm a bit exceptional that many excellent mathematicians have trouble visualizing. So it, it's different skills they have. I mean, I thought um, when I was, before I went to university as a mathematician, I thought that when I studied mathematics that I would find a lot of other people who thought the same way as I did. But I think I found more different ways of thinking about things than I encountered before. Uh, I think, let, let me make a comment about the, I think Yakir made this uh, remarkable comment about <coughs> having, thinking about a problem when he went to sleep and then having the solution when he woke up. I think that's a great skill, which I never succeeded in. <laughs> 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 I always, I quite often have ideas and I think of wonderful, I mean, just dreaming about something, it's a wonderful solution to a problem and then I wake up and it's utter nonsense. <laughs> and then you don't seem to have that subtle from that. Perhaps I should tell one story. I've told it before in, 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 uh, in a book of mine. But just, I think the only story I can think of which gives some idea of, of uh, how ideas sometimes come. I was, it had to do with black holes, what we now call black holes. This was before it was understood that they could occur under general circumstances. I think people thought they might be very special symmetrical cases and only when the, the collapsing body was utterly symmetrical would you get what we now call a black hole, as all the exact solutions were like that. But I was playing with other ideas, and I, I didn't know quite how, how to make sense of them. And I was visited by uh, an Englishman who was working in Texas, Ivor Robinson, who was a very distinctive person, he was very good with words, and he, he always talks a lot very entertainingly. And uh, we were walking along, and he was talking away. And we came to this street. And as we crossed the street, he stopped talking. And then, as I, as I crossed the street, then evidently I had an idea, which had to do with this problem of how to do black holes when it's not symmetrical. And when we got to the other side, he started talking again, and completely blotted the idea from my head. And then he, he went away, and I was by myself in my office. And I began to think, you know, I have this feeling of elation. Somehow, I'm feeling cheerful. But why am I feeling cheerful? I, I would think there must have been something good happened to me, and I went through all the day, you know, anything in the morning when I woke up, worked my way through the day, and it got to this conversation as I crossed the street, and it suddenly came back to me. This idea which, which we now call a trap surface. And I then went to my office, and I could more or less sort it out what to do, but the idea it's something that came to me when I was completely awake, unlike the actual people who have brilliant ideas of his sleep, which I envy them very much. But um, it seemed to be, in this case, a good idea, although lots of times the ideas are not so good. But <laughs> usually, usually if it's a good idea, it's got a good chance of being right. And this time I had this feeling about it, and it, and it did work. Thank you, Roger. Um, so uh, the, the next slide.